Hi there, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of August. There is no doubt that Saturn has been asking you to channel the things that are really important to you in a much more focused way over the last year or so. But recently, since mid-May, as I've mentioned over the last few weeks, Saturn has been compromised by the dreamy energy of Neptune. Now, if you're not absolutely clear about what your strategy is or what your targets are, or you're not putting your undivided attention on as narrow a range of subjects as possible, then self-doubts or external pressures or confusion around where you live, your emotions or family influences may have been rather a draining factor. But the great news is that despite the fact that this influence continues, is that this week on Tuesday, a new moon in your sister fire sign of Leo links up with Saturn in the most productive way possible. The new moon is all about expansion, adventurism, independence, freedom of spirit, all the things that you're actually really famed for. And if you are looking to widen your horizons in any way at all, as long as you're doing it in a step-by-step -step way, thinking through the implications, you're planning all the different ups and downsides, which comes through Saturn's influence, your expansion sounds, stands a, a fantastic chance of being successful. But perhaps the most important moment of this week for you comes on Wednesday, when Mars burst back into your sign. Now there has been a hiatus. It was with you through March, April and May, well at least until the 27th, but unfortunately in the last six weeks of that period it was tracking backwards, which may have added to that sense that things weren't really go going forwards in the way you would like. It then switched into the most psychological part of your horoscope and a lot of hidden stuff and turbulence around your emotions may have erupted in the interim. Now from Wednesday and through to the end of September, you can really get on the front foot and drive your agenda forwards in a really powerful way. It's a fantastic set of influences this week for you, with Mercury also right at the top of your horoscope in your sector of success, you could find yourself thinking a lot about your career. So some of the changes you think about may not just be around your personal experiences and the variety that you like in life. It may be if you feel that you want to have a change. Now this may have an element of education or retraining about it or being mentored by someone influential. Towards the end of this week, however, Mercury does clash with Saturn and Neptune in that square that's been going on since mid-May. This is quite tricky and it just asks you to be very conscious of what your actions do in terms of how they're perceived publicly and privately. However, on the very last day of this week, Venus, the planet of, of attraction, moves to the top of your horoscope too. Now you already have Jupiter in this location, which of course is your ruler. So I do feel as long as you can concentrate on the detail of situations and making sure your relationships are nurtured and that may mean you having to sacrifice a little bit of your desire to control your moves completely. You may have to fit in with some expectations or structures but as long as you're willing to do that from the end of this week onwards can be a time when you can make a much bigger mark as term, in terms of your goals, ambitions and desires. It's been a real pleasure being with you Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.